I think that there's many of us, including myself, who underestimate the actual speed in which artificial intelligence is growing. It took us 83 years to get to where we are today. In the next five to 10 years, we are going to see jobs being replaced. We are going to see AI increase at a pace never seen before. And this robot that I'm about to show you in this video demonstrates exactly where this world is going. Figure and OpenAI have partnered up and integrated ChatGPT into Figure's robot, Figure 1. Now, I think the best way for you to understand how powerful this robot is, is to watch the demonstration video. So that's what we're about to do. And after that, I'm going to get into some of the key ideas behind it. How is it running? What are the motives and the goals of the companies creating this robot? How is this going to affect the job market? And so much more. So I'm excited to get into it. But first, let's watch the demonstration video so you can see what this new robot, Figure 1, is all about. About. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great. Can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great. Can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. So that was pretty amazing, right? Every time I watch that video, I've watched it about five or six times. I am just mind blown at how crazy this AI robot is. It has the ability to communicate and perform tasks all at the same time. It's aware of its surroundings and this robot can even learn from its memory. And one thing that amazes me is just the natural sounding voice. I don't know whether this was programmed in the robot to do this for some reason, but it seems like it almost stutters like a normal human would. So I'm really not sure what that was all about, but it had a very cool element to the robot and it made it feel a lot more human-like. Now, before we get into the mission and the motives of the company behind figure one, this AI robot, I just wanted to share with you a quick AI growth trajectory chart that I've built that will help you better understand how quickly AI is moving. This is a slideshow from a course within my AI community that I've been working on. If you want to join the waitlist, I will leave a link down below in order for you to do so, so you can get early access when that group does release. Now, this is 1940, and this was around the time where the first general purpose computer was ever created, the ENIAC, and this was a crazy easy old computer, but that was created in 1943 and that was around the start of AI. We are currently here in 2024, which took 83 years. In 2030, as you can see, we're at the knee bend of the curve right now. In the next six to 10 years, we are about to see more advancements than ever before. And every day, something new will come about that will continue to have us mind blown. I mean, it was just about one year ago where GPT-4 was released and we had computer vision start to come to the public market. And now they're integrating it into a robot. The robot knows its surroundings. It can see what's in front of it. It knows that there's an app on the table. It can do tasks at the same time. And this is all developed within a year. Now, of course, these companies have been 
been working more than a year on developing these things. But as AI develops in certain sectors, such as speech to speech or text to speech, it will also integrate into the actual physical things of this world, like these robots. It has kind of a snowball effect in the world of AI. All of these programs and applications can start to utilize these certain models in order to enhance their AI application. Now let's dive into the motives of figure one. Why are they doing this? What's their goal behind creating this robot? Are they doing it for war? Are they doing it for money? What are their main goals? Well, let's take a look at an article from the CEO and founder himself. I will be leaving a link to this article in the description. I highlighted some key points that I think were important in order to get across to see the roadmap to a positive future powered by AI and to see their vision. This was published in May 20, 2022, so kind of a long time ago, but they are following through with their vision and we're starting to see it come to life, especially with the integration of ChatGPT, giving this robot speech to speech recognition and advancing its capabilities. So let's see, their mission is to expand human capabilities through advanced AI. Now I highlighted some of the important parts of this article so that we would not miss it. So this is the company and this article is by, again, the CEO and founder, Brett Adcock. And he says that he believes that positively affecting the future of humanity is the moral priority of our time. And it says, hence the goal of figure. So the goal of figure is to develop general purpose humanoids that make a positive impact on humanity and create a better life for future generations. These robots can eliminate the need for unsafe and undesirable jobs, ultimately allowing us to live happier, more purposeful lives. So when a robot gets destroyed, it's a lot better than a human getting hurt. I think that's what they're getting at here. They want to replace the side of labor that's unsafe and undesirable. Now let's dive into the present. It says the labor supply growth is set to flatline this century. If we want continued growth, we need more productivity. And this means more automation. So they're trying to create better automation with these AI robots. It says, as these robots join the workforce everywhere from factories to farmland, the cost of labor will decrease until it becomes equivalent to the price of renting a robot, facilitating a long-term holistic reduction in costs. So it's funny because even five years ago, people would joke about robots taking over the world. You know, you have movies like iRobot and these other shows uh, showing this artificial intelligence starting to take over the world, but it always seemed so far away until something like this comes out. And you can already imagine where we're going to be at in a year. The thing about this stuff is it's only going to increase over time. It's only going to get better. Right now we are starting back at the bottom. If this is where we started, we're not going to go back much from here. AI is increasing at an exponential rate. And in this section, the possibility, it goes on to say manual labor could become optional and higher production could bring an abundance of affordable goods and services, creating the potential for more wealth for everyone. So they kind of have this goal to replace manual labor with these robots. And we are still in the possibility section. And here it says our first applications will be in industries such as manufacturing, shipping and logistics, warehousing and retail, where labor shortages are the most severe. So they're trying to replace the labor shortages in these industries with these general purpose humanoid robots. And here it makes a pretty bold statement. It says we will not place humanoids in military or defense applications, nor any roles that require inflicting harm on humans. Our focus is on providing resources for jobs that humans don't want to perform. Now, when it comes to the governments and the militaries, things start to get a little tricky. You know, implementing this AI, could it turn on your own country? Could it call some code that you don't actually want to call? These are all questions we have to ask. And Figure makes a very bold statement by saying they will not personally place humanoids in military or defense applications. So that's an interesting line that I wanted to put in here. It says, we see three major business opportunities in the long term, physical labor, consumer household, and off-world. I thought off-world, that's so crazy. Space exploration to build new worlds using these robots. That's a very cool statement. So as of 2022, those are the goals and motives of Figure from the CEO and founder himself. Now I just want to dive into some of the key features of this Figure One robot in order to really open your mind to what's actually going on here. Because many of the robots you've seen in the past have been pre-programmed in order to do certain tasks like jump on boxes or do backflips or whatever it does. But Figure One is very unique in the way that it relies on a neural network and it relies on its sensors in order to make decisions autonomously. 
It's not being programmed to do this. It perceives its own environment, it can analyze the situation, and it makes actions based on that situation. And as we interact with it, and as it interacts with more environments, it starts to learn things. It starts to pick up on its previous behavior just as a child would, right? When a child is young, they learn things. When they fall, they get back up. They know not to take that certain step. They know not to touch something that's hot. Just like a child, it seems like this robot is learning in that type of way. It's adaptive and dynamic, and it can actually learn from these real world situations so that's where this robot in particular really starts to stand out and also the fact that it can communicate with humans using natural language processing with the integration of chat gpt by open ai this is a huge part of this robot also another thing that makes this robot so unique is it seems like it can multitask right if you remember that one part where the robot was cleaning up the paper and putting it in the waste bin and talking to the human at the same time that's very advanced it's doing tasks and talking all at once. So when you get a robot, it seems like with eight arms, you give it one task, two tasks, three tasks, and they can start performing all of these things at once by a human telling it to perform those tasks. Now that's pretty out there. I don't know how the development of these things are actually built, but it seems like eventually these will be able to multitask and not only do one thing like giving you an apple, but it'll be able to wash dishes at the same time while giving you an apple and maybe it has another arm or a leg doing another task, right? That's the whole point of these is to autonomously do the undesirable jobs. Now this was a overview look at figure one. If you'd like me to go more in depth on technical reports, functionality, and how these things are actually being built, if you want me to dive in that deep, then let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts on figure one? Are you scared? Are you happy? Are you excited? Do you want to own a figure one bot? And what other thoughts do you have? Now, if you're interested in AI, I'm in the process of creating the group. I have been for the past couple of months. So I will have a wait list for you to join down below. Leave a like. I would highly, highly appreciate it. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.